Science Grade 5. Quarter 4, Module 2. Investigating the extent of soil erosion in the community and its effects on living things and the environment. After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Define soil erosion. 2. Describe the effects of soil erosion in the community and its effects on living things and the environment. And 3. Suggest different ways to control soil erosion. A. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the word being described in each item. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. When they dig the ground, some rocks and soil particles that stick to their bodies and as they move from place to place, they carry such particles, too. 2. As it flows, it transports rock and soil particles from one place to another. 3. Whenever we walk, the soil clings to our shoes, so the soil gets transported from place to place. 4. As it flows, it carries light particles of rocks and soil transporting and depositing them in another place. 5. It is an inclined surface of the land that affects the rate of soil erosion. Be right through if the statement is correct or false if not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. The movement of rocks from one place to another is called erosion. Two. The faster the running water is, the slower the soil erosion would be. 3. A slope is a flat surface of land. 4. Landslide can be caused by water, wind, animals, and humans. 5. Sand dunes are ridges of sand formed by wind. Lesson 1. Investigating the extent of soil erosion in the community and its effects on living things and the environment. In this lesson, the learners will understand the extent of soil erosion in the community. It also explains how soil erosion in the community affects the living things and the environment. A. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. For numbers 1 and 2. Refer to the following choices. A. Mineral. B. Rock. C. Soil. D. Weathering. 1. It is a natural solid material usually made up of one or more minerals. 2. These are what rocks made up of. 3. It is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. A. Minerals. B. Rocks. C. Soil erosion. D. Weathering. 4. These are tiny pieces of rocks which are combined with water and remains of animals and plants. A. Minerals. B. Pebbles. C. Rocks. D. Soil. 5. Rocks have eroded away over time. Eroded means blank. A. Carried away. B. Fixed. C. Stay still. D. Steady. Be using the graphic organizer, list down the five agents of weathering. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Agents of weathering. Study the picture below and answer the following question. One. What can you say about the downward movement of soil as shown in the picture? Two. What do you think causes the downward movement of soil? 3. How does it affect us? 4. How can we lessen its harmful effects? What is soil erosion and how does it affect us? 
Soil erosion is the moving or carrying away of soil from one place to another. It is a continuous process that gradually changes the natural environment over time. Agents of Soil Erosion Water As water flows, it transports rock and soil particles from one place to another. The speed of flowing water affects the rate of soil erosion. The faster the water flows, the faster and farther the erosion would be. Faster movement of water can cause many sediments to be carried away by the water. Wind As the wind blows, it carries light particles of rocks and soil, transporting and depositing them in another place. Strong winds carry the particles of soil in a distant place. Wind erosion can take place in any area where the soil is not compacted. Animals Animals also contribute to the transportation of sediments. When burrowing animals dig the ground, some rocks and soil particles stick to their bodies. As they move from place to place, they carry such particles, too. Humans Humans have a major contribution to the rate of soil erosion in the environment. Whenever we walk, the soil clings to our shoes, so the soil gets transported from place to place. There are other human activities that can also cause soil erosion, gardening, quarrying, mining, and house and infrastructure construction. Slope of a land A slope is an inclined surface of a land. The slope of a land affects the rate of soil erosion. Effects of soil erosion Every natural process here on earth, like soil erosion, affects both living and non-living things. Soil erosion does not only shape Earth's landforms, it also affects the ecosystem as it happens abruptly. Human activities such as deforestation, illegal logging, overgrazing, and quarrying also aggravate the effects of soil erosion in the environment. Effects of Soil Erosion on Landforms Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. It can also transform a mountain to a hill or a plateau. Excessive deforestation, mining, and conversion of mountains to residential or commercial lands could trigger erosion that can be destructive to the environment. Effects of Soil Erosion on Living Things Plants get most of its nutrients from the topsoil. The topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. However, this topsoil is usually carried away by wind and water. Too much soil erosion makes the soil unable to hold or absorb water. This makes the soil dry, coarse, and eventually unfit for vegetation. In addition, sediments that are washed away by water can clog irrigation systems and can further inhibit the plant's water supply. The effect of soil erosion on plants would mean less food production. This can affect animals and humans since plants are their main source of food and nutrients. Another negative effect of erosion is the prevalence of mine tailings. Mine tailings are the mineral wastes or leftovers after the mining process. Erosion brought about by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. Ways to Control Soil Erosion 1. Natural Vegetation The simplest and natural way of controlling soil erosion is through natural vegetation, which is allowing plants and trees grow naturally without human interference. Trees can also serve as windbreaks. A windbreak is a row of trees planted in a straight path shielding and protecting plants and crops from strong winds and gales. Windbreaks prevent strong wind to directly blow the soil, thus lessening the soil erosion that takes place. 2. Contour Plowing This method is similar to terracing, but on a smaller scale. Instead of planting crops in straight vertical rows, crops are planted following the contour of the landscape to slow down the flow of water that prevents soil erosion. 3. Strip Cropping in this method, the plants are arranged in strips with rows of the main crop alternated with rows of a cover crop. The cover crop further helps to protect the soil from erosion. 4. Terracing This type of farming method uses the topography of the land to slow down the flow of water through a series of terraces. 
This will control the water from flowing fast which can wash the soil from the farmland. 5. Crop Rotation Farmers use crop rotation not just to prevent pests from destroying the plants but also to maintain the good quality of the soil. Crop rotation refers to planting crops in different spot of the year. 6. Ripe Wrapping Another way of controlling soil erosion is by building ripe wraps or chunks of stones or rocks arranged on the edge of slope. This arrangement of stones does not just serve as a foundation but also a ridge to control soil erosion. How Forest Helps in Controlling Soil Erosion The forest canopy, the uppermost layer of the forest where most tree branches and leaves are found, acts like an umbrella that lessens the impact of rain on the forest floor. This also lessens the rate of soil erosion. Since a lot of trees and plants grow in the forest, more root systems hold the soil together. Roots of trees spread out underground and keep the soil more intact. The more intact the soil is, the less prone it is to soil erosion. Activity 1 Given the pictures below, describe the effects of soil erosion. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Activity 2. Draw a happy face if the situation shows a good effect of soil erosion or sad face if not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Shaping of landforms. 2. Deposition of mine tailings. 3. Formation of soil. 4. Loss of soil fertility. 5. Clogging of irrigation canals. 6. Decrease in food production. 7. Pollution of water. 8. Inability of soil to hold water. 9. Change in appearance of mountains into hills. 10. Large masses becoming wonders of nature. Activity 3. Match the items in column A with the items in column B. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Column A. 1. It allows plants to grow naturally without human interference. 2. The farmers should plow across the slope to form ridges instead of plowing up and down. 3. It is the planting of different crops and strips alternately. 4. It involves planting on terraces or steps built on slopes of mountainside. 5. It is the planting of crops on a different spot of each year. 6. It is the arrangement of chunks of stones or rocks on the edges of the slope. 7. These living things prevent soil erosion as they. 8. It is the process of replanting an area with trees. 9. It is a row of trees planted in a straight path. 10. It is the uppermost layer of the forest where most tree branches and leaves are found. Column B. 8 trees. B. Terracing C. Ripe wrapping D. Windbreaks E. Crop rotation Alternately F. D. Forestation G. Reforestation H. Forest canopy I. Strip cropping J. Contour plowing K. Natural vegetation growth Fill in each blank the correct words. Choose from the words inside the box. Write your answers on separate sheet of paper. Animals. Contour plowing. Ripe wrapping. Water. Human. Erosion. Crop rotation. Terracing. Wind. Sediments. The movement of rock fragments and soil from one place to another is called one. Blank. Materials that are transported due to erosion are called two. Blank. Just like weathering, there are different agents of soil erosion. These include, 3, blank, 4, blank, 5, blank, and 6, blank.
Soil erosion cannot be prevented, since this is naturally occurring in the environment. However, there are practices that can help control soil erosion and its harmful effects. The ways to control soil erosion are 7. Blank, 8. Blank, 9. Blank, and 10. Blank. Write the most effective way to reduce the effects of erosion in these places. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Newly harvested field. 2. Riverbanks. 3. Crop field on a slope. 4. Curved mountainside. 5. Shoreline. Read each statement carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. When is wind an agent of soil erosion? A. When it presses down rocks. B. When it stops picking up rocks. C. When it breaks rocks into pieces. D. When it blows rock pieces to other places. 2. Landslides on mountain slopes show the force of blank. A. Wind. B. Runoff. C. Gravity. D. Running water. 3. What makes the water muddy after a heavy rain? A. The pebbles picked up by water. B. The animals playing on the ground. C. The soil and sand are mixed with water and carried by it. D. The goddess of rain makes muddy rain fall on the ground. 4. Which of the following shows that soil erosion is caused by animals? A. Men are mining. B. Hen is digging the soil. C. Root of plants are growing. D. Construction workers are building a housing project. 5. Which of the following is not a cause of soil erosion? A. Animals. B. People. C. Sun. D. Water. 6. Which of these can occur due to soil erosion? A. Rain mud. B. Pollute air. C. Create acid rain. D. Pollute water bodies. 7. Which of the following can prevent soil erosion? A. Reforestation. B. Deforestation. C. Damming lakes. D. Reducing air pollution. 8. What can occur in an area experiencing soil erosion? A. The soil quality is reduced. B. Water pollution is cleared up. C. Vegetation is able to grow easily. D. Crops are planted at an off-site location. 9. Which of the following is not an effect of soil erosion? A. Water pollution. B. Reduced soil quality. C. Decreased crop yield. D. Improved water quality. 10. Which of the following situations is most likely to lead to soil erosion? A. Adding vegetation to an area. B. Excessive tilling of a farmer's field. C. Lack of sun for three weeks in a row. D. An unusually long dry spell for an area. At home, make a simulation of soil erosion in the community and record your observation through a video or a picture. Rubric for simulation of soil erosion.